Jeremiah chapter 1. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Hilakiah, of the priests that were in Anadoth, in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Joshua, Joshua, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. In the thirteenth year of his reign, it came also in the days of Joachim, the son of Joshua, king of Judah, unto the end of the eleventh year of Zechariah, the son of Joshua, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth month. The call of Jeremiah. When the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I adorned thee, a prophet unto the nations. Then said, I, I, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shall speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in my mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build, and to plant. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will, for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, the second time, saying, What seest thou? And I said, I see a seeding pot, and the face thereof is toward the north. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon all inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the north said the Lord, and they shall come, and they shall set everyone his throne at the entering of the gates in Jer of Jerusalem, and against all the walls thereof round about, and against all the cities of Judah. And I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me, and have burned incense unto other gods, and worship the works of their hands. Thou, shalt, thou therefore gird up thy loins, and arise, and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and brass and walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver thee. Chapter 2 Israel forsakes the Lord. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said the Lord, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thy spousals, when thou winnest after me in the wilderness, in the land that was not shown. Israel was holiness, unto the Lord, and the first fruits of his increase. All that devour him shall offend. Evil shall come upon them, said the Lord.
Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Is Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone from far from me, and have walked after vanity, and are become vain? Neither said they, Where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of shadow of death, through a land that no man passeth through and where no man dwelt. And I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the God goodness thereof. But when ye entered, entered, ye defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. The priest said not, <coughs> Where is the Lord? And, the, and they that handled the law knew me not. The pastors also trend, transgressed against me, and the prophets pr prophesied by Baal, and walked after things that do not profit. <coughs> Wherefore, I will yet plead with you, said the Lord, and with your children's children will I plead. For pass over the isles of Chintam and see, and send unto Kedar, and consider diligently, and see if there <coughs> be such a thing. Had a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, said the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities are burned about without inhabitant. Also the children of Nopa and Talfanes have broken the crown of thy head. Has thou not procured this unto thyself, in that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, when he led thee by the way? And now, what has thou to do in the way of Egypt, to drink the waters of Senor, or that has thou to do in the way of Assyria, to drink the waters of the river? Thy own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy black backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore that, and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, and that my fear is not in thee, said the Lord God of hosts. For of all time I have broken thy yoke, and burst thy bands, and thou, has, and thou said, I will not transgress, when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest playing the harlot, Yet I planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? For though, for though thou wash thee with nitrite and take thee much soap, yet thine iniquity is marked before me, said the Lord God. How can thou say I am not polluted? I have not gone after Balaam. See thy way in the valley, though what thou hast done. Thou art a swift through dromedary, traversing her ways. A wild ass used to the wilderness that snuffed up the wind in her pleasure, 
in her occasion who can turn her away. All that they seek her will not I go. As the thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets, saying to a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone, Thou hast brought me forth, for they have turned their back unto me, and not their faith, but, but in the time of their trouble they will say, Arise and save us. But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise. If they can save thee in the time of thy trouble, for according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judea. Wherefore will ye plea with me? Ye all have transgressed against me, said the Lord. In vain have I smitten your children. They received no correction. Your own sword had devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. O generation, see ye the word of the Lord. Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore say my people, we are lords. We will come no more unto thee. Can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore has thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? Also in thy skirts is found the blood of the souls of the poor innocents. I have not found it by secret search, but upon all these. Yet thou sayest, because I am innocent, surely his anger shall turn from me. Behold, I will plead thee, because thou sayest, I have not sinned. Why gaddest thou about so much to change thy way? Thou also shalt be ashamed of Egypt, as thou wast ashamed of Assyria. Yes, thou shalt go forth from him, and thy hands upon thy head. For the Lord had rejected thy confidences, and thou shalt not prosper in them. Chapter 3 They say, If a man put away his wife, and she go from him, and become another man's, she, shall he return unto her again? Shall not the land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, Yet return again to me, said the Lord. Lift up thy eyes unto the high places, and see where thou hast not been lean with. In the ways hast thou sat for them, as the Abramian in the wilderness. And thou hast polluted the land with the whoredoms and with thy wickedness. Therefore the showers have been withholden, and there had been no later rain, and thou has a whore's forehead, thou refuse it to be ashamed. Wilt thou not from this time cry unto me, my father, thou art the guide of my youth? Will he reserve his anger forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, thou hast spoken and done evil things as thou couldst. Father, father, faithless Israel called to repentance. The Lord said unto me, In the days of Joshua the king, Has thou seen that which backsliding Israel had done? She is gone up upon every high mountain and un under every green tree, and there had played the harlot. And I said, After she had done all these things, Turn thou unto me, but she turn return not, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And I saw when, for all the causes whereby backsliding, Israel committed adultery, I had put her away, and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, and went and played the harlot also. And it came to pass through the lightness of her whoredom 
that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with stocks. And yet, for all this her treacherous sister, Judah had not turned unto me with her whole heart, but faintly said the Lord. And the Lord said unto me, The backsliding Israel had justified herself more than treacherous Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, Return, though backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, say the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thy iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers, under every green tree, ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you, take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased in the land. Those days, said the Lord, they shall say no more. The ark of the covenant of the Lord, neither shall it come to mind. Neither shall they remember it. Neither shall they visit it. Neither shall that be done any more. At that time they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. And all the nations shall be gathered unto it. To the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem, neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. In those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. But I said, How shall I put thee among the children, and give thee a pleasant land, a good, godly, goodly heritage of the hosts of nations. And I said, Thou shalt call me my father, and I shalt not turn away from me. Surely as a wife treacheries departed from her husband, so have ye dealt treacherously with me. O house of Israel, said the Lord. A voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplications, of the children of Israel, for they have perverted their way, and they have forgotten the Lord their God. Return ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our God. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. For shame had devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth, their flocks and their herds, their sons, their daughters. We lie down in our shame, and our confusion, confusion covered us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God and our fathers from our youth even unto this day, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Chapter 4 If thou wilt return, O Israel, said the Lord, return unto me, and if thou wilt put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove, and thou shalt swear the Lord live it in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness, and the nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall hear they glory. For thus said the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground, and sow not among thorns. Circumcise their, yourselves to the Lord, and take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire, and burn that none can quench it, because of the evil of your doings. Disaster from the north. Declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, Blow ye the trumpet of the land. 
cry, gather together and say, assemble yourselves and let us go into the defense, defense cities. Set up the standard towards Zion. Retire, stay not. For I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. The lion is come up from his ticket and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He is gone forth from his place and to make thy land desolate and thy city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. For this gird you with sackcloth, laminate, and howl. For the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us. And it shall come to pass in, at that day, said the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish, and the heart of the princes and the priests shall be astonished, and the prophets shall wonder. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, surely thou hast greatly deceived his people, and Jerusalem, saying, He shall have peace, whereas the sword reach it unto the soul. At that time shall it be said to his people and to Jerusalem, a dry wind of high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not to fan nor to cleanse. Even a full wind from those places shall come unto me. Now also will I give sentence against them. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariot shall be as whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. O Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? For a voice declared from Dan and published affliction from Mount Ephraim, make ye mention to the nations. Behold, publish against Jerusalem that watchers come from a far country and give out their voice against the cities of Judah. As keepers of a field are they against her round about because she had been rebellious against me, said the Lord. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness, because it is bitter, because it reacheth unto thy heart. Anguish over Judah's desolation. My bowels, my bowels, I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold thy pe my peace, because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Destruction upon destruction, he cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are they, my tents, spoiled, and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I beheld lo, and the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord, and by his fierce anger. For thus had the Lord said, The whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it, I have purposed it, and I will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee from the noise of the horsemen and bowmen. They shall go to thickets and climb 
up upon the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken, and not a man dwell therein. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Thou thou clothest thyself with crimson, thou thou de deckest thee with ornaments of gold, thou rendest thy face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee, they will seek thy life. For I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail, and the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion, that bewailed herself, that spread her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is wearied because of murderers. Chapter 5 Jerusalem refused to repent. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof, if ye can find a man, if there be any that executed judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. And though they say, The Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, are not thy eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock, and they have refused to return. Therefore I said, Surely these are poor. They are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. I will get me unto the great men, and I will, sp and spe will speak unto them. For they have known the way of the Lord, and judgment of their God. But these have altogether broken the yoke, and burst the bonds. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evening shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over their cities. Every one that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces, because their transgressions are made, are many, and their black slidings are increased. How shall I pardon thee? How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me, and sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to full, they then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. They were as fed horses in the morning. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife. Shall I not visit for these things, said the Lord, and shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Go ye up, up upon your, her walls and destroy, but make not a full end. Take away her battlements, for they are not the Lord's. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacheries against me, said the Lord. They have belied the Lord and said, It is not he, neither shall evil come upon us. Neither shall we see sword nor famine, and the prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done unto them. The Lord proclaims judgment. Wherefore said, thus said the Lord God of hosts, Because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would and shall devour them. Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far. O house of Israel, said the Lord, it is a mighty nation, it is an ancient na nation, a nation whose language thou knowest not, neither understandeth that they say. They quiver, it is an open sculpture. They are mightily men. And they shall eat up thy harvest and thy bread, which thy sons and thy daughters should eat. They shall eat up thy flocks and thy herds. They shall eat up thy vines and the fig trees. 
They shall improve his defensed cities, wherein thou trusted with the sword. Nevertheless, in those days, said the Lord, I will not make a full end with you. And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore doeth the Lord our God all these things unto us? Then shall ye do answer them, like as you have forsaken me, and served strange gods in your land. So shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours? Declare this in the house of Jacob, and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which ye have eyes, and see not, which have ears, and hear not. Fear ye not me, said the Lord, will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it cannot pass it in Though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet they can they not pass over it. But this people had a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our God, that give it rain, both former and later, in this season, he reserve it unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. For among my people are founded wicked men. They lay wait as he that set its snares. They set a trap, they catch men. As a cage is for full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they are become great and wax, waxen rich. They are waxen fat, they shine, yes, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy, needy, needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things, said the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it. So I, what will ye do in the end thereof?
Thank you.